welcome everyone. I was just looking at that tree right there. We're in Florida, Central Florida to be exact. And there's a lot of lizards born in Florida and they're normally born in trees just like that. It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. Happy Sunday to you. I'm not here to talk about those lizards. I'm talking about the birth of the Lizard King. It happened right here in this building. Right there. James Douglas, let me roll my window down. James Douglas Morrison, better known as Jim to you and I. I never met him personally, but he wanted us to call him Jim. Jim Morrison. His humble beginning started right there. That is the old Melbourne, Florida hospital. He was born in 1943, December 8th, 1943. The birth of a rock legend happened right in there. See if I can drive around to the front. It's no longer a hospital. It's some sort of a doctor's office or some sort of regular office of some sort now. And I wonder if the people that reside in there know that the famed Jim Morrison, the legend of rock and roll, lead singer of The Doors, was born right in there. He was conceived, not conceived, he was the other nether regions of conservation and conceiving. That doesn't even make any sense. He was born right inside of there. I'm going to try not to explain it any more than that. The birth happened right inside one of these doors in one of those rooms. That's it. I wanted to start off here. I'm actually in my van because I'm going to mount this right up here so I can drive. I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to drive about a mile and a half to downtown Melbourne, right smack downtown Melbourne. One mile, about one and a half miles, maybe 1.1 miles. You can Google it and figure it out. From where he was born, what I just showed you is the home, the childhood home of Jim Morrison. What do you guys think about Jim Morrison? Rolling Stone list him in the top 100 rock singers, not even rock singers, the top 100 singers of all time. Not just rock, but every other type of genre known to man. Jim Morrison is listed on there. Very influential guy, had a lot of hits. The Doors were a huge phenomenon, even back then. And even today, a lot of people still love The Doors, know and love The Doors. And not only The Doors, but idolized Jim Morrison and the way he was, impulsive as he was, his spoken word, his poetry that he incorporated into the Doors music. I want to know what you guys think of Jim Morrison. And for those who just randomly found this vlog blog, searching on YouTube for Jim Morrison, welcome to my channel. This is called The Daily Woo. I do a new video every single day. I'm about a year and a half in to these videos. I haven't missed a day yet. So make sure you subscribe to these videos. And join me not only on this Jim Morrison excursion adventure, but also my daily channel adventures. And I also have another channel called the Adam the Woo channel. So hopefully you search for that as well. And also, if you want to know these addresses of all the Jim, look at, look at this, traffic, traffic. I was gonna say, if you want to know the addresses of all these places, you can just Google it. The wonderful thing of the internet is you can search anything. Just search Melbourne, Florida, the birthplace, the hospital address, and also the home I'm gonna show you on Vernon Avenue, which is right over here. As soon as this traffic gets going, let me mount you back up here, because we're moving. We're moving, gotta be hands-free when we're moving. What really gave me this idea, I drove over here to Melbourne, Florida today. Maybe tomorrow I'm just gonna roam around looking for wonderful things. And I got this idea from my buddy Ross, who runs a channel called Camera Sober. He did a video a couple years ago about this area. And I'm gonna do an updated version of what the hospital looks like. I think the hospital became abandoned and he couldn't get in there, couldn't film it. So he filmed it from the outside like I did, but now someone has incorporated it. So this is an update, a 2014 update of what this area, area, they're trying to say nether regions. Those people are staring at me right there. Look at this over here, look. See those people back there? They're looking at me because I cannot pronunciate my words correctly. And I was talking to myself. So let me put this right, whoop, let me put this right. That's the clicking sound. You know what that sound is, Highness? Those are the clicking eels, the shrieking eels, the clicking mechanism, a stop sign right there. All right, we're almost there. We're only about a block away. I could probably go ahead and unmount this and show you where we're going. 
So check out Ross over on Camera Sober's channel. He went here to Vernon Place. I think I said Vernon Avenue. It's actually Vernon Place, New Haven and Vernon Place, right downtown Melbourne. Just think, the parents of Jim Morrison used to walk around this little area here getting food and beverages and then going to take care of their little baby, Jim Morrison. Okay, we're almost there. Look at this. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. That's it right there. Let me go up the road and turn around. I'm gonna go up the road and turn around so we can get you an angle out the other side of the window. You can get a better view of it. What is your favorite Jim Morrison moment? And not only that, what is your favorite Doors song? I do like a lot of the Doors stuff. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, a huge Doors fan, but I do like a lot of their music. All right, I gotta turn around. I'm gonna hit this fire hydrant. I'm just paying, I'm sorry, I was talking, but I'm about to hit that fire hydrant. Sorry, Fire Hydrant. We're on a mission to see J James, Jim, also known as Jim or James. Is it Jim or James? Morrison's childhood home. So here we go. Let me roll the window down. I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to be quiet. Someone has actually bought the home recently. And I was talking to Ross from Camera Sober's channel. Make sure you go check him out, especially if you're in the Melbourne, Cocoa Beach, Merritt Island, any of this area of Florida regions, and you like historical stuff. He's kind of a self-proclaimed guru of this area, and he's done a lot of videos like this in his area. But this one really appealed to me, and I wanted to give you an update. Right there. 2100 Vernon Place in Melbourne. After he was born, he was brought here. No, not Ross from Camera Sober. I'm talking about Jim Morrison. He was brought here right to this house, and he lived. I think his room might have been on one of the sides over here. You see they have a lot of no trespassing signs up. I was told by Ross, I talked to him today, and he gave me the information to come out here and share the information with you guys. So vicariously, he's telling me information, I'm sharing the information with you. That's what we do here on The Daily Woo. It's a vicarious information spinning mechanism that works. He said the person who bought this house was a huge Doors fan and a huge, huge, not Hughes, a huge Jim Morrison fan. So it looks like someone has taken over the property that's gonna treat it right is going to appeal to the Jim Morrison fans. There's no placard anywhere here in Melbourne stating the fact that Jim Morrison was born here. Maybe they should put a placard up, a plaque or a placard, one or the other, about Jim Morrison's birthplace and his childhood home. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm glad you guys joined me on this. Remember what you said, remember what I said, not what you said. I was listening to what you said, but now I want you to listen to what I said. Make sure you subscribe. Also check down below for my t-shirts all the social networks that you can hunt me down on are right down here as well. And hunt down this place. Come out here and take a picture in front of the Jim Morrison home, downtown Melbourne. I'll see you guys later. Have a great Sunday. Bye.